Welcome to another video. Today I will be walking you through how to change the username on your Mac computer. Now to get started, we're just going to click on the Apple icon up here in the top left corner and click on System Preferences. Once the menu has opened, look for where it says Users and Groups and click on it. Make sure you are signed in as the administrator. You will need to click on the padlock to unlock it. Go ahead and type in your administrator password and then click on Unlock. Next, locate the account where you need to update the name. And so we're just going to hold down the control button on our keyboard and then click on it. This will give us the advanced options. Go ahead and click on that. Now, before we continue, please note this warning. It can cause problems when you change options here on this menu. So before I proceed, let me offer a couple alternative options to changing these options. If I click cancel, we do have the option where we can just hit this plus sign and add an account, both standard or administrator. So if you're just trying to change the name to your name, you can just add an account with your correct name. Also, please note, if someone sold you a used Mac or someone gave you a used Mac and you're just trying to update the name on the account, the correct way to do that is to factory reset the Mac. And I will post a link to this video tutorial down below in the notes, down in the video description, but they should have factory reset it before they sold it or gave it to you. And you want to do this because this gives you the option to set up a fresh new administrator account with the correct name. Either way, I strongly recommend that you back up any important data just again, because in some cases things can go wrong. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and proceed here. So again, I'm going to hold down the control button, click on the name here and advanced options. And I just want to change the name on the account. So we're going to come down here to full name. We're going to delete it out and then type in the name we want to display. And then I'm going to click on OK. And we can see that it's updated here. Now at this point, you would just go ahead and restart the computer. Now let's say you want to make changes to the administrator account. Yes, technically you can come in here and change the name, but at times that can cause issues. And so the better option is to sign into a second or a different admin account. If you do not have a different admin account, again, click the plus sign, select admin, fill out the information to create a second admin account. At that point, you would go ahead and just click on the Apple icon and go to log out of the current administrator account. And then once you have signed out and logged into the new administrator account, you'll just again come back up here to the Apple icon and click on system preferences. From this menu, again, users and groups, click on it. Click on the padlock and type in the password for the new administrator account. And then we are going to go down to the other admin account that we're trying to update. We're just going to hold down the control button and click on it and then click on advanced options. And then right here we can update it to whatever we'd like it to be. And then we'll go ahead and click on okay. And we can see that's updated. And so at this point, again, we just need to go ahead and restart the computer. And then after you have restarted your computer, just go ahead and sign back into the original admin account. And then if we click on the Apple icon, go down to System Preferences, click on Users and Groups, we can see that the name has updated. Now one thing you will notice, if I go ahead and unlock the padlock here again, and if I go back to the one I changed earlier, hold down the Control button and click on it, go to Advanced Options, you'll notice that the full name does not match the account name or the home directory. It still has the previous user's name there. Now, that's technically fine. You can leave it as is. Uh, it will still display the correct name. It's just in the files or folders, it will have the old name. Now, you can update both the account name and the directory. I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a moment. But again, due to this warning, I would again point you at the alternative options I mentioned earlier. You can create a new account just by clicking on the plus sign, and this will have all the correct information on it. Or again, if you bought a used computer or were given a used computer, I would recommend factory resetting it so you can put in the correct information for a fresh new account. Regardless of which option you go with, back up your data. And again, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and update it here without using those alternative steps. And so the first thing you need to do is again, be signed in as an administrator and then click on the finder to open it. And then you're going to come up here to the top and click on go and go down to go to folder and click on it. And then you're going to type in exactly what you see right here, just a slash with users, and then click on go. 
and then here it's going to list our user folders and so currently I am signed into this account and this is the old account that we changed so this is the Jessica Taylor account that we changed it still has the old name on it so what we want to do is update this with the new name so to do this I'm going to hold down the control button and then click on the name and go down to rename and then I'm just going to type in Jessica Taylor make sure there are no spaces and I'm just going to click outside go ahead and type in your administrator password and then click on OK. And then at this point, I'm going to come back over here to Users and Groups and hold down the Control button and click on Jessica Taylor, Advanced Options. And we need to match both of these to exactly what we typed over here. So again, all lowercase, no spaces. I'm just going to type in Jessica Taylor. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, Jessica Taylor. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and close everything and restart the computer. And then after a computer restart, if I just go back here to System Preferences, and then back here to Users and Groups, and then I'm just going to click on the padlock again and type in the admin password, and then hold down the Control button and click on Jessica Taylor, Advanced Options. We can now see that the account name, the full name, and the home directory all now match and all have the correct information. Now, please note, you do not have to update the account name or the home directory. You can just update the full name if you'd like to do so. However, if you are going to update the account name and home directory, make sure you do it in the exact steps I just listed out. Otherwise, you can run into problems and issues like it's mentioned here. You can even get locked out of your computer. So again, Make sure you either follow the steps, use one of the alternative methods I mentioned earlier, and make sure you back up your data. Please also be aware that if you want to update the account name or home directory on an admin account, you must be signed in as a different administrator. Again, if you don't have one, as already mentioned, you can add one right here. And so please be aware of that. But that's pretty much everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.